Hey now, hey Chicago, how y'all doing? What's happening, California? No, no, wait, wait. Where those AKAs at? Where they at? You know what? In three months, ain't gonna be no living with y'all. <laughs> I, 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 can I, I can tell you this, I don't blame Donald Trump for not wanting to debate Kamala. I've been married to a black woman for 40 years and I ain't won one debate. I'm owing 93,000. Now, of course, Trump is saying that Kamala isn't black. I guarantee you this, Kamala's been black a lot longer than Trump's been a Republican. If he keeps sliding in the polls the way he is, the only thing, the only way he can keep Kamala out of the White House is if he buys it and refuses to rent it to her. <laughs> of course, Kamala's getting broad support. They got black men for Kamala, white men for Kamala, Latinos and Asians for Kamala. They even have Republicans for Kamala. Republicans for Kamala, I guess Donald Trump will finally know what it's like when you get left for a younger woman. <laughs> but uh, seriously, Kamala knows the truth about the American dream, that hard work, is not alone uh, enough, uh, hard work alone is not enough to succeed. That you need access and information and opportunity. And she knows that some folks are often denied those very things. As president, she will give each and every one of us a fair shot in life. But I, but I have to admit, I didn't always believe that. I mean, if you told me the 15-year-old me would be on stage supporting a prosecutor and a teacher, <laughs> there is no way that I would have believed you. But because of that, I made assumptions about Kamala's record. And I often repeated them to a lot of people. Then one day, Kamala invited me to her house. She put her hand on my shoulder, and she asked me to do some research, something I had never done, something a lot of people I know had never done before. Imagine attacking someone's character without a single Google search. Um, so I did what I should have done in the first place. I, I learned that she had done for us exactly what she promised to. I believe that your apology should be as loud as your accusation, and I'm here apologizing in front of the whole damn world. I am. I was wrong. I was wrong, and I'm so very glad I was wrong because, Kamala, you give me hope for the future, a future where my grandchildren, Nolan and Stevie, had the freedom to control their own bodies, where they have the opportunity to go as far as their wits and their talents would take them. That future, ladies and gentlemen, is possible, but only if we elect Kamala Harris as the 47th President of the United States of America. I will say this to you. The best piece of advice I've ever gotten in my entire life is you don't have to know what you will do, just know what you want. And we won't go back. <laughs> <laughs>